This leela is narrated by Sudhir R. Apte, a devotee residing in Pune. He says, I was very fortunate that my maternal grandfather, Narayan Rao Vinayak Sakadev, was ardently devoted to Baba since 1915. Hence, everyone in our household worshipped Baba, and Baba has looked after us through thick and thin. This leela pertains to my maternal aunt who had unwavering faith in Baba. When Shankar Rao Narayan Sakadev retired from his official duties, he decided to reside in Kharapur near Sangli. He scouted the area for a house and found a wada in Damle Alley. The wada was large and the price was right, so they bought it. After performing Vastu Shanti, the Sakadevs moved in. They also performed elaborate rituals all night, that is Jagran and Gondal, to seek the blessings of Tulja Bhavani and other gods and goddesses. Shankar Rao and his wife Indumati performed Baba's Arti every day and did Parayan of the Charita on a regular basis. In 1993, the son Anil left his former job and took a job as a manager in a firm in Belgaum. Anil, along with his wife Shruti, their two sons Satish and Tusar, came to reside with Shankar Rao and Indumati. A short while later, Shruti fell ill. She was given the best possible treatment but without much effect. Her health started deteriorating with every passing day. The doctors were unable to diagnose her disease. Shruti was unable to talk and she was now reduced to skin and bones. When all possible human aid had failed, Indumati turned to Baba for help. One night, as usual, Indumati applied Ude to Shruti's entire body and went to sleep. Around midnight, Indumati was woken by Shruti's screams. She rushed to her room. Fear was written all over Shruti's face. And with her own hand, she was strangulating her own neck. With all her strength, Indumati freed her from the grip of her hands, simultaneously yelling for Shankar Rao to help. Shruti woke up shuddering with fear. After she had calmed down, she said, I, I had fallen asleep. A woman wearing a traditional nine-yard sari came close to me and said, I am feeling very hungry, so I am going to take you away with me. And she started throttling me. I couldn't breathe and in agony I started shouting. I don't know what happened thereafter. Indumati told her everything. Then Shruti said, You saved my life or I would have killed myself. I don't want to stay here anymore. Please let me go to my parents. Indumati was aware that an evil spirit had come in the form of that woman. She consoled her, saying, Don't worry anymore. My Baba is capable of driving away any evil spirit. By His grace, everything will be all right. The next morning, Indumati asked her husband to find Tamle, who had sold the Vada to them, and inquire about its history. Tamle said, Ages ago, the Kathe family resided in the Vada. They fell on hard times, and his wife, Rukmabai, was desperate as she had six young children and a husband to feed. There was no source of income, and her husband quarreled with her and beat her frequently. To Rukmabai's utter dismay, she realized that she was pregnant, and soon there would be another mouth to feed. She lost her mental balance, and that night, Rukmabai jumped into the well and took her life. Within the next six years, her husband and six children all died for some reason or the other. It was rumored that the mother of the seven children sacrificed seven members of her family. Before long, 
Rukma Bai started torturing my family also. Fed up with this, I sought refuge in a saint. He advised me to sell the vada at a reasonable price to a spiritual person who conducted worship and religious practices daily. I knew that you were devoted to Baba and Tulja Bhavani, so I sold the vada to you. Indumati heard the story and immediately prayed to Baba. Baba, prior to purchasing the vada, we got your approval through chits. We have devotedly prayed to you and done your artis. Now that my daughter-in-law has come to reside with us, why have you piled all these troubles on her? Now only you can resolve all these problems. That very night, Baba appeared in Indumati's dream and said, Bai, you are very stubborn. Now for your sake, I have to look into this. That pregnant mother of those seven children is very hungry. She wants the mother who has borne two children, but I will not let this take place. However, you have to, without fail, on every Amavasya, place a plate full of food near that well for that woman. Then break a coconut there and prostrate. Then everything will be all right. Do not forget this. This is practice to this day. Needless to say, Shruti recovered her health completely and her sons are now grown up. The entire family is leading a happy and contented life. Reference Shri Sai Sagar Magazine Deepavali Issue 2013